hello guys welcome to my channel Aura Tricks and in this video we will see the installation of Oracle application Express 20.2 with Oracle 18 C and we will also install ORDS with this one so without wasting time let's start the installation so before we start uh, we will uh, try to install this Oracle 11 18C XC so let me uh, tell you that you need to download these all files from the uh, you know Oracle site and uh, extract those files and let me just start with the 18C so here we have one setup just right click and run as administrator so it will take some more time depends on your configuration so let's just wait for a while yes click on next just accept the license click on next yes I don't want to install this one at this position let me just change that to uh, let's say C drive it would be Oracle underscore 18 C slash would be fine okay let's just click on okay okay now the path looks perfect just click on next it asks me to set a password so let me just set a password you can select anyone so this is the destination folder this TV home and this would be uh, the Oracle base so just click on install so it will take some time and uh, meanwhile let me just pause the video and we'll back get back to you while after the completion of this installation just wait your window defender may ask you to allow this one so we will click on allow access oh yes guys and the installation of uh, 18c has been completed and you can you know uh, check this out uh, you can access the EM Express from this location and your pluggable database at this location okay so yes it's been done now so we have completed the installation of 18c now we will start the installation of Oracle Application Express 18 20.2 yes we have already extracted that file so as you can see we have already extracted this so now what we are going to do is we will copy this particular thing into the C drive so let us just put as a uh, uh, temp folder maybe inside okay so the copy has been done and you can see all the files were there installation files and other files so we will start the command prompt now and here we will go to the uh, C drive and we will move to the uh, path where we have you know extracted that uh, apex so that is currently uh, let me just uh, put it in a proper way like uh, CD 10 and C Apex okay so now we, uh, we need to connect to the uh, database SQL plus so sys as sys DBA and your password okay and we are connected with the Oracle 18 C right so now let's start the installation so before that we need to you know uh, check whether the uh, database uh, PDBs are there or not so let me type show PDBs so it shows me that uh, two are there so we need to set uh, one of them properly so that we can uh, continue with the installation so we'll type alter session set container is equals to the current database that is xe pdb1 yes it's been done now so now we can start the installation so for that we need to run the 
command at the rate apex just say there is apx apex ins there is sysox sysox then this temp oh yes installation has been started now so this will take uh, somewhat time so we need to wait for that okay okay uh, so first first part has been completed so let me just execute the last command again so as we can see that uh, so x e p d b is there temporary database is there so let me just go for uh, that is at the rate a p x c h p w d dot sql so here we need to give the username um, i want that to be as admin so i just uh, press enter so admin uh, will not be uh, will be created uh, admins email id so let me put uh, my email id yes and uh, password oh yes instance has been created so now we will configure the rest api so for that we need to execute that command at the rate apex underscore dot just a second dot sql yes i just need to provide the password so that is okay and need to provide the password for rest public user and the environment setting has been done let me run that show pdbs okay now it's been done so now we will change the password of uh, apex public user so let me just do it with the command alter user apex underscore public underscore user identified by uh, password would be oracle account unlock yes it's been done now okay so we will configure the ods now so for that let me take you to the uh, ods directory so we have already downloaded this ORDS 20.3 so let me just copy this one and paste to the C drive either you can you know uh, have that uh, under this temp also or you can put uh, at uh, C drive also here so let me just put this particular thing at temp folder where we have uh, you know extracted our uh, epix folder so, and let me just rename this to ORDS only yes now go to command prompt and uh, you should be run that as administrator yes it's there now so let me go to that directory where uh, you know you have uh, we have uh, extracted that file let me just uh, keep a little bit smaller yes so I have listed the all the files so we just need to execute one command now we need to execute one command so let me just paste that that is java option char ords.war install advanced so currently it shows me that the java is not uh, installed so that's why it's giving me an error so we required java to uh, you know uh, process further so let me install java now so I'm clicking on this JDK 15.0.2 so let's just wait while uh, the JDK has been installing so I'm showing you absolutely uh, you know uh, from basic so that you can uh, continue with the uh, installation at a fresh PC that is next yes JDK 15 next it's going pretty fast actually and uh, it's been done so one thing we uh, should do is uh, we have to set the environment variable so for that I'll be going to C drive program files 
then Java, JDK, Ben, and we need to set that path to right click properties. Uh, then I think system advanced system setting. Just a second. Yes, advanced system setting. Then environment variable. And let us just put this path and it would be a new path. Let me paste that, bring that to the top, click OK, OK, OK. So done. Uh, now we can check uh, with the ODS installation. We can execute that command again. So let us try now. OK, still showing the error because we need to, you know, uh, close this. Uh, command prompt and reopen it again so let me just exit from here open that again yes let me just resize it a bit yes so let me go to the C drive it would be temp and apex oh not apex but uh, in uh, ORDS would be yes and here we need to execute that command that is this one oops we make some yes yes okay now it's working so as we have installed uh, the you know uh, java so now it's working perfectly so this is saying that this oracle rest data services instance has not yet been configured so please complete the following uh, prompts so that we can uh, we are able to complete the configuration of Oracle REST data services so first of all it asked me you know uh, to uh, uh, go for the enter the location to store the configuration data so here we need to pass the configuration where we have you know uh, extracted that file that is at this location so I'll be copy this particular thing and let me paste this ORDS Let's just wait okay now it asked me the second thing that is specify the database connection type to use that is enter number one for basic two for TNS and three for custom URL so we will just press enter so we want that uh, to be the basic thing so just press enter enter the name of the database server so here uh, it asked me to enter the database name but as it's given localhost so it's okay for me just press enter and uh, it asked me to confirm the uh, listen port so it's already uh, 1521 it's perfect I just press enter so enter 1 to specify the database service name or 2 to specify the uh, database SID so uh, uh, we will uh, by default it's one so we need to specify it so the database service name that is uh, we have XE there is a P pluggable database and one so enter so enter one if you want to verify on install Oracle REST data services schema or two skips so one has been selected so let's just press enter uh, we need to uh, provide the password so let us provide the password confirm it yes and it uh, requires to log in with administrator privileges to verify the Oracle REST data services scheme so administrator username it's uh, it asking me for the administrator username administrative username would be a uh, sys and the password would be whatever you have provided yes so uh, sysox is perfect for me so I'll be uh, pressing table space is okay temporary table space is temp that's perfect and default table space for ORDS public users is users it's okay table says pro temp is okay and now if you are uh, uh, using Oracle application express or migrating from mode you must enter one so uh, let's so one is perfect so let's enter so uh, enter the PLS school gateway database user apex public user is fine so okay and the password would be this one confirm password would be this 
so now I uh, enter one to specify the password for application express SSFU services database users and uh, let me just uh, put that password and confirm it so for uh, rest data password and done so SQL developer web enable all the features so one is default so I'll be press enter yes it's started now so some installation has been uh, started for us so let's just wait uh, till it's get completed so now we need to uh, copy the images files uh, from our Oracle Apex that is uh, this and this particular folder we need to copy this one and go to our ORD paste it to here let me just press ctrl V yes it takes somewhat time for copying the files so meanwhile it gets completed let us uh, go to our administrator and let me just define the standalone mode as I want this to be uh, executed on the standalone mode just click uh, enter so enter the apex static resource location so here we need to provide the path where the uh, you know static resource uh, has been there so we have already copied this one and the path will be this so I've copied that and paste it like images hit enter okay now it's asking me to enter one if you're using HTTP or two if you want to use HTTPS so it's okay uh, if we go for HTTP just press enter and now it's asked me to enter the HTTP port so here I would like to change the port 8080 to it would be like 8181 yes uh, some installation is started it asked me to allow access just click allow let's just wait for a while yes guys and now uh, we can you know go for the checking whether it's localhost is working or not so it would be like localhost uh, then colon 8181 and slash ORDS oh yes it's uh, working and installation has been completed so let me just